I like education. Fourth Crusade. Let's take a look. I know nothing about this. This guy has a lot of content, man. He must be very rich. Yeah, Alexios Crusade was real. III, Angelos, usurped the throne of the struggling Eastern Roman Empire in 1195 with no allies and very little resources. But for a brief moment, his realm was... Could you imagine that the Ottomans would have never taken Anatolia and Turkey would be a Christian country nowadays? How different the world would look. I know nothing about this shit. Ah, yeah. Jerusalem is surrendered to Arab rule for the first time by the Christian patriarch Saint Sophronius to the Muslim Caliph Umar. Then, in 1009, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre is destroyed by order of the Fatimid Caliph al Hagimibi al Ham Allah. But in 1054, Christianity splits into the Roman Catholic Church and the Greek Orthodox Church. Never understood that. In 1095, ambassadors from Byzantine Emperor Alexios Komnenos ask Pope Urban II for help reclaiming the empire from the Seljuk Turks. Pope Urban inaugurates the First Crusade. I thought the First Crusade was just going to, is uh, to Israel. The First Crusade, freeing the Holy Lands. Ah, okay, there we go, yeah. Preached uh, by Pope Urban II, led by Count Raymond V of Toulouse, and proclaimed by many wandering preachers, including Peter the Hermit, Geoffrey of Bouillon, chosen as ruler of Jerusalem. In 1144, the Second Crusade, to liberate Edessa, preached by the Pope Eugenius III, led by the Holy Roman Emperor, oh man, Conrad III, led by King Louis of France, supported by Saint Bernard. And then in 1184, medieval inquisitors first appointed. What? So the First Crusade was preached by the Pope Gregory and Pope Clement, led by Richard of the Lionheart of England. Oh! A relic of the true cross has been captured by Islamic leader Yusuf ibn Ayyub, known in Western literature and history as Saladin. I am Saladin. Saladin captured Jerusalem and converted all churches except the Holy Sepulchre into mosques. Damn. I always wonder, man, how did they prove it's a true cross relic? How the fuck did you know? You have a piece of wood, and you're like, ah, it's the cross of Jesus. How do you fucking prove that, man? Okay, at the Fourth Crusade, preached by the Pope Innocent, it wasn't so innocent, further split East and West Christians. However, that stability wouldn't last, as okay, suddenly no an army of crusaders found itself at the walls of Constantinople. But a lot of people in chat are saying this is the reason why the Turks take over Anatolia, because the Christians have fucked up Byzantium so hard that the Turks could easily take down Byzantium. How and why did Byzantium. the Fourth Crusade end up sacking Constantinople? And what were the consequences of these events? How often did Constantinople get fucked up, of man? Alexios III, who became emperor by blinding his brother, Isaac II, was one of the most inept rulers Constantinople ever saw. But he at the same time, brother, he was one of the luckiest. In order to solidify his claim, he took the money gathered for military expeditions and spent it bribing the aristocracy. He made the sale of offices legal again, and despite his usurpation, had no interest in ruling. Man, he sounds very Greek, man. So he left the administration of the empire in the hands of corrupt officials and his wife, Euphrosyne. Another Alexios, who pretended to be Manuel's son, dyed his hair, mimicked his stutter, and convinced the Seljuks he was the rightful heir to the throne. This started a war with the, <laughs> the talented Mr. Ripley. Seljuks, which weakened the Byzantines' hold over Anatolia. The diplomatic problems were mounting, and on Christmas 1196, Holy Roman Emperor Henry VI demanded a tribute How of big the Holy Roman Emperor was, right? Holy shit was that big. Of 1,600 pounds of gold, for which Alexios plundered the imperial tombs and raised a heavy tax on the empire. Oh man. But just That's as why the monarchy coin isn't, was collected, isn't so good, Henry huh? died. Luckily for Alexios, the pretender was assassinated in 1197, which slowed down the Seljuk momentum. A big part of those funds were used to conclude peace with the Sultanate of Rum. The Byzantines' problems continued over the next few years. The coastal regions of the empire were pillaged by Genoan pirates, showing the weakness of the empire. The internal situation was also difficult, as in 1201, John Komnenos the Fat attempted to usurp the throne. He made sure you go down history as the fat, bro. <laughs> gotta, you gotta be careful, man. He earned his nickname when he crushed the throne under his weight. <laughs> as his on support. It. Even though back then being fat was probably like 89 kilograms or something. chanted his name and burned down <laughs> several churches. But that night, a loyalist cut his head off, ending oh, okay. the coup. It was a flex back then? In the north, shortly after Ivana Sen I was assassinated, his Everybody's brother getting assassinated. Peter became the Tsar of Bulgaria but also was assassinated soon after. The throne passed to their younger brother, Kaoyan, who was a powerful military commander. Is he gonna get assassinated? Right. I wonder. 
The start of his reign was focused on obtaining legitimacy. Someone is playing a level 30 intrigue character here in the home. region. And after a lengthy correspondence, he received the title of king in return for converting Bulgaria to How many Catholicism. popes was there in total? Let me guess, how many popes was there? 266? 266. Oh, okay. 266 popes. To the west. Okay. A Serbian and now they were so powerful back then, and now they're just like to the throne with the. Hey, I'm the Pope. Hey, man, guys, let's be peaceful, okay? Israel, Ukraine, let's be peaceful. I know what it gives a shit. I'm really having a problem preaching condoms to young kids, but hey, man. Aid of the Pope and Hungary, reducing the buffer zone, but the original Serbian monarch was restored with the aid of Bulgaria, which showed that the second Bulgarian Tsardom was becoming a player in the region. The Pope who gave Kaoyan the title was Pope Innocent Man, do III, I want to play a Rome or Medieval Total War now? Like a new one, a brand new whose one. Whose 18 year reign influenced every part of Christendom, and who was the man behind the pro Catholic coup in Serbia in 1202. Man, the Pope was such a one figure back then. monarchs, annulled marriages, recovered central Italy and the Kingdom of Sicily from the Normans, involved himself in the Holy Roman Empire's succession crisis created several holy orders, advocated for a crusade against the Cathars, and held a strict anti-Jewish policy. Whatever video we watch on this channel, from the year 500 before Christ up until right now, Jews are always getting fucked. However, his greatest Jesus ambition Christ. was the recovery of Jerusalem. As the Third Crusade failed to retake Jerusalem, Innocent called for a new crusade in August 1198. It took more than a year before several French I want to really start watching King of Heaven again. Their leader, Count of Champagne, Theobald III. In fact, doing that tonight, I'm going upstairs in a sec, right? And I want to watch something on the laptop. I might watch Kingdom of Heaven, super mega extended. Was a 20-year-old energetic and charismatic man related to English and French crowns. And he was soon joined by other powerful aristocrats like Count of Blois, Louis, Earl of Leicester, Simon of Montfort, it, and Renaud of Montmirail. By 1200, Theobald managed to recruit many knights you guys from told Flanders. Me there's a mega long version. However, the timing of this crusade could hardly be worse. Yeah, they're all CK3 characters, true, yeah. Philippe II of France was at war with John of England, Thank and the Holy Roman Empire was in the middle of a succession war. Despite the lack of participants, the nobles remained hopeful and devised a very ambitious plan to retake the Holy Land. Egypt was the center of Muslim power, and with Saladin dead, the Crusaders would sail up the Nile, take Egypt, and march on Jerusalem from this new base. The goal of the Crusade was to retake Jerusalem, and to prevent desertion, so only the leadership knew this plan. The leader sent envoys to the only city that had enough naval power to turn it into a reality. Venice. In February 1201, the leader of the Venetian... Nice little advice for you guys. If you, I know a lot of you people are really into CK2. Play Venice in CK2. You're going to love it. Play it with the DLC. It's so much Public. fun, man. It's super Enrico unique. Dandolo. Very, very fun, Welcome man. I can the only envoys. tell you this to try it out if you love CK2. Venice was waiting for. To, to win over the hearts and minds of the population, the Doge host a massive gathering in Saint Mark's Square. A crusade that would give it wealth, you ever play Venice? Allies, I don't prestige, think and so, above man. all, trade ports in the richest part of the Mediterranean. So. The sides came to an agreement. Venice would halt all commercial enterprises for a year in an effort to build the best fleet in the world. While the Crusaders promised an army of 4,500 knights, 9,000 squires, and 20,000 footmen and crossbowmen, Damn. and agreed to pay the Venetians four marks for every horse and two silver marks for each Jeez, man, Venice making which big amounted over to 85,000 marks. Additionally, the Venetians would supply the army with food for nine months and receive half of the plunder obtained oh. on either land or sea. Venice is being clever here, man. But then disaster struck. Theobald died of an unknown disease at the age of 22. <sighs> They're For all several just dying. months, the Crusaders sought out a new leader, but every noble they asked declined until they reached out to <laughs> Marquis of Montferrat, Boniface, whose way. Hey, Victor Boniface, that guy is the best goal shooter in the German League Elfant right now, man. His name gave new life to the expedition, bringing in a wave of recruits, including knights from Italy and Burgundy. Still, the prolonged delay, death of the leader, I, 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 I imagine they must have all smelled so bad. And bro. the selection of a new leader who was Italian, while the majority of the Crusaders were French, eroded enthusiasm. 
thousands of men sailed off from different ports directly to the Holy Land, and only 12,000 crusaders showed up on the Venetian doorstep. <laughs> Most of them are just fucking missing, bro. Step. A far cry yeah, man, I don't know. I'm Indonesia, bro. What happened? Angered the Venetians, who lost a year's worth of trade while working on the ships and supplies. The crusaders also failed to come up with the silver they had promised. However, Obviously. Dandolo proposed a solution. The crusaders would loot the trade port of Zara, which Hungary took from Venice 20 years prior, and pay their debts with the spoils they would take. Thousands of crusaders disliked this and left. But the majority agree. And this makes you want to play Venice this so bad. I hope that CK3 maybe one day gets a Republican DLC to play Republic. It's really the fun. Venetian Council, and the 93-year-old blind Doge gathered his people in St. Mark's Square in an effort to win their support. I know, okay. Seniors, CK2 you are Venice is very fun. with the most worthy people in the world, and for the highest enterprise ever undertaken. I am a man old and feeble, who should have need of rest, and I am sick in body. But I see that no one could command and lead you like myself, who am your lord. If you will consent that I take the sign of the cross to guard and direct you, that my son remains in my place to guard the land, then I shall go to live or die with you. That's your best leader, an old blind man? And with the pilgrims. It's like Western Republican and Party. And they heard him, they cried with one voice. Sub for Seeker to we Venice, pray calm you down by a bit, God okay? that you consent and do it, that you come with us. With that speech, the crusade took a new form, with a new leader, and tripled in number, as 20,000 Venetians joined it. 20,000 Venetians, I thought. What the fuck merchants live? and marines took the cross, and now outnumbered the other crusaders two to one. On October 1st, 1202, the 4th crusade departed probably? for Zara, which was protected by high but walls back then was and a, a superpower. small harbor chain. The port fell instantly, and the city was besieged. The defenders sent an envoy to the doge, offering their surrender. The crusaders could plunder and take the city, as long as the people were unharmed. Dandilo went to consult with his fellow crusaders first, but while he was away, members of the faction that didn't want to attack a Christian city oh. and wanted to go to the Holy Land contacted the envoy. Why should you surrender your city? The pilgrims will not attack you, have no care of them. If you can defend yourselves against the Venetians, you will be safe enough. How hard it is in history to keep an army together, message huh? essentially ended the negotiations. Meanwhile, the doge and the nobles agreed to accept the surrender, and were stunned to find out the envoys were gone. To make matters worse, a papal envoy arrived, threatening anyone who attacked the city with excommunication. But it was too late to turn back. That's like nowadays losing your internet, man. When he excommunicated you, you're in trouble. Back now, the discord within the army was at an all. Imagine nowadays you had like an internet pope. You have no internet for one year. All time that's, high. That's like as some Jesus, man, away that hurts. From the city, while the main force began firing their siege weapons at the walls and sent sappers to mine its towers. Five days later, the city surrendered under the same conditions as before, but already the cracks were showing especially due to their excommunication. Winter had arrived, and like the host banned from chat in the rich city, with the Venetians taking the coastal side and the Crusaders taking the inland side, both of which were plundered. Three days after the occupation, a fight broke out within the city between the Venetian and Latin Crusaders. The battle engulfed Zara as steel clashed and crossbows were fired until the morning, leaving many dead on both sides, excommunicated crusaders. <laughs> An uneasy truce was made between the doge and the nobles, who desperately tried to keep the army from falling apart, which Boniface was particularly went on difficult vacation? with the absence of Boniface, who arrived two weeks later alongside a fresh German contingent and an envoy from King of Germany, Philip of Swabia. The latter was busy fighting over control of the Holy Roman Empire, but saw the opportunity to put his brother-in-law, Alexius IV Angelos, in charge of the East, and played a key role in convincing him to turn to the Crusaders for help. In our previous episode, we covered how the founder of the Angelos dynasty, Isaac II, was usurped by his brother, Alexios III, who blinded and imprisoned him alongside his son, Alexius IV. 
The latter was freed by Pisan merchants and was waiting for the right moment to free his father and retake the throne. He had heard of the financial struggles of the Crusaders and offered them 200,000 silver marks. Additionally, he promised to either go alongside the Crusaders to the Holy Land or send 10,000 men in his stead. But above all, he promised to put the Orthodox Church under the primacy of the Pope. Contemporary sources claim and I don't seem like exclusive right now. I'm not saying much. I'm like a boring reactor, but there's not much to say. Things in general just make me think of hybrid game between Metal and CK2. This makes you want to play video games, right? Yeah. That yeah. the leaders of the crusade were compelled this makes you want to play to Venice right and CK2, the wrong man. done to Alexius IV because of their code <clears throat> of chivalry. Still, even more men deserted, owing to the King of Hungary. Most of the nobles who started the crusade had either died or left. The Crusaders sent envoys to Pope Innocent III to obtain absolution and request. Oh, yeah, Germany also has one merchant republic in a certain style. True, that the Hansa, he allowed yeah. the expedition to restore Alexius IV to the throne. Both were approved once Innocent III realized this was his best chance <clears throat> to end the East West Schism. Once they celebrated Easter in April of 1203, the Venetians razed Zara and tore down its walls before departing alongside Alexius IV. The fleet slowly made its way towards Constantinople, with Corfu, Andros and Abydos willingly opening their gates to the young Alexios. This slow crawl didn't go unnoticed by his uncle Alexios III, who prepared the city's defences and rallied his people against the invaders. Unfortunately, there was nothing for him to do but wait, since none of the provinces sent reinforcements to the capital. The Byzantine fleet of the time was made up of 20 rotting galleys, which were stripped of <laughs> anchors and sails modern Germany? by a corrupt official, so there was no way to counter the Crusaders. Unopposed, the Crusaders disembarked and made camp at Chalcedon and Scutari, with Constantinople on the horizon. I imagine what that must have looked like. It's the year 1200 and you're looking at the distance and you see Constantinople, man in the distance and you're you're about to fucking attack that shit what well, that must fucking feel like Emperor man. Sent i always think that about that rejected, stuff had smaller that must look like harass bro. their foraging you know what i often think 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 i'm weird you can call me weird but listen to what i'm saying here you know what i sometimes think about imagine standing in front of a t-rex now you're like huh what is he talking about look it is proven that a t-rex existed right now imagine you will stand in front of a real t-rex right just the side of it. I don't even, not even interact with it, but the side of it. It will probably blow your mind. It will probably blow your fucking mind. It's like, imagine when a kid sees an elephant for the first time, they're like, what the fuck? Elephants are real? I, I don't know. I always dream about this stuff, about seeing legendary stuff. And now imagine, I was just imagining, imagine what Sparta looked like 400 before Christ. Parties. I, I'd and love, his it would be so cool if you could go back in time as an omnipotent observer and you look at stuff. That would be so sick, Dami right? At Galata. With Boniface and Dandolo beside him, the young emperor boarded a galley and revealed himself to the thousands of people Probably gathered very on the smelly. city walls. But none cheered for him, so the crusaders prepared for battle. On July 5th, 1203, the Venetians... Imagine you're a Roman soldier in the Alps and you see Hannibal's elephants for the first time. Yeah, I mean, what kind of experience that must be, man. ...manned the ships, oh, while the crusaders man. formed seven Wasn't that divisions, big back then. each led by one of the leaders. Alexius III was in a perfect position to defend his shores, but he was up against the biggest amphibious assault force in medieval history. Oh, damn. The specially designed Venetian troop transports unleashed the heavy knights, their charge covered by archers and crossbowmen. Damn. The first wave allowed for the infantry to safely make their way to the beach, and put more pressure on the defenders. As soon as the lances were lowered, the Byzantines began to flee to the fortress of Galata. With the beachhead secure, the knights mounted their horses and made. I, I, I never knew there was a crusade. Christians versus Orthodox Christians. Their way that seems kind of fucking stupid, man. Pavilions, which were abandoned, leaving many spoils behind. In order to access the Golden Horn, the massive chain had to be removed, and to do that, Galata had to fall. And so another siege began. It is here we see the first sign of resistance, as the defenders rushed out of the gates in an attempt to surprise the enemy. However, the Byzantine force was no match for the highly yeah, that, disciplined that crusaders, clever. who pushed them back and managed to get to the gate before it was closed. Think about it, every crusade was Galata stupid, I guess that, yeah. While many defenders were cut down. As, as I look at, look, you guys know more about history. I know you guys are a bit of 
history nerds. But if you look at human history, especially militarily, right, and geopolitical, it's 99% just wasted potential, in my opinion. That's what I always think about. It's just a bunch of waste. The chain was broken. It's nothing to gain you other than a bunch of one step uh, rich people, powerful goal. people decide this, this dumb shit. A city of 350,000. Constantinople had around 15,000 men ready to defend it, of which 5,000 were Varangian guards. It had oh, great Varangian guards! They had 5,000 Vikings, right? That's old Nordic people. 5,000 Vikings in that city. What? That's what it felt like, man. You guys know that epic picture that in the Hagia Sophia, the mosque, right? There is uh, this room where an old Viking has uh, written in old runes, Ivo was here, right? That, that's Walked so cool, man. And had seen many Imagine you're born in Norway in a little shitty village, man. You'd become a Varangian guard in Constantinople, man. Invaders what a life that must have been. The, centuries. the sea wall, however, was its weak spot. One the Venetians were ready to exploit. Tying scaling ladders to their masts Thank as you. they loaded up their mangonels. Meanwhile, the Crusaders landed further down the Golden Horn. Thank you. Before camping outside the northwestern tip of the city. The camp was defended by palisades Man, I feel total and war right constantly now. harassed by Byzantine troops that rushed out of the gates the to inflict minor casualties, a strategy that proved very unsuccessful. During one of these sallies, the Burgundian division broke the attackers and chased them back to the walls, inflicting heavy casualties. After 10 days of skirmishes and preparation, the assault of the city began on the 17th of July, 1203. Crazy that we Half know these the things, right? That we have records of this. And finally met their match as they clashed with the notorious Varangians. Oh sword. man, the Vikings are coming. What must that have looked like, man? You're a Bur Burgundian knight and suddenly these Vikings are coming out the met gate, the man. Axe. And in the end, the Norsemen gained the upper hand, forcing the Latins to withdraw back to Jeez. their camp. As the Crusaders pressed the defenders, the Venetian fleet engaged the other side of the city across the sea walls. Despite their siege ladders, mangonels, and cover fire, they made little progress. Then suddenly, the old doge disembarked on the coast in front the of blind the walls, old man, rallying his people with the banner of their patron saint Mark in his hands. Emboldened by this act of bravery, the Venetians rushed forward, taking tower after tower. The defenders were overwhelmed and began to flee while the marines took 25 of the 103 the towers marines. across the walls. The Byzantines attempted to dislodge them. Hero the skills are real, lit man. a massive fire that engulfed the city and prevented any counterattack. <coughs> As the sea walls fell, Alexius III gathered all of his forces and rode out to meet the Imagine Crusaders. Imagine you're a Muslim king hearing of the shit. You're just laughing your ass off, man. The Crusaders formed up behind their defenses, ready to meet their numerically superior foe. The Latins formed up in good order, with archers and crossbowmen in front of the knights. Even the guy was born in 1107 and died in 1205. Donning horse quilts Jesus and main, copper main, cooking main. pots for protection, the leaders ordered their men to take no action without a formal command, fearing desperate acts of heroism or retreat. Some would later write that it felt as if a huge wave was about to come crashing down on them. But Alexius III froze, and he and his army halted their movement waiting for the enemy to make the first move. Hearing of this standoff, the doge commanded his men to retreat from the walls and go to aid their allies. There was apparently always people running around. There was probably always a guy who's like, hey man, what are you doing? Okay, I'll tell him. Hey doggy, this is happening. There's always like a guy He was the always first running to around. disembark on the coast, soon joined by his warriors. We're not sure what happened, but it seems that seeing the Venetians approaching the area, Alexius ordered a full retreat. That night, he stole one thousand... So crazy to me in uh, human history how one single brain, one brain, mostly of a man, decides the fate of thousands of men. Gold from the treasury crazy and shit. fled to Thrace. After almost a decade of being imprisoned, blinded Isaac II was dragged out of his cell and dressed in purple by the desperate citizens. The Crusaders sent envoys to negotiate with Isaac, and he received them well. The promises made by his son were confirmed. Immediately after, the Crusaders entered the city with Alexius IV, who was welcomed with open arms by the people who had recently refused him. There was a great feast and a coronation that made him co-emperor. Yeah, co-emperor? What is this, man? In order to prevent another Democracy? clash with the local populace, the Crusaders stationed themselves in Galata, 
where soon after his coronation, Alexios IV arrived. He was well aware that the original agreement the Crusaders made with Venice expired on September 29th, and found it difficult to gather... It's actually a painting of this assault. From when? <laughs> Look at these guys, man. In the 16th century? Oh, okay. Damn. Isn't it sad how we had paintings like this back in the day, and nowadays you go to an art installation and it's just like a girl that smears blood in her face and shit? This was fucking art, man. Thousand phone picks he promised. So he asked for the What's term up, John? Be extended. John, you missed a lot of content, man, dude. Your fingers are everywhere, and for the man. Catholics to winter in his land until March, which would give him time to collect the funds. Additionally, he asked for Latin aid in vanquishing his uncle in Thrace. Once again, the crusade was delayed and many were unhappy with the situation. But the Doge and other leaders convinced John, them that explain. it would be pointless to leave empty-handed, only to winter in the Holy Lands. The Crusaders agreed, and over half of them left to attack Alexius III, who was organizing resistance in Adrianople. The Latin Quarter in Constantinople was repopulated after the massacre of 1182, and while Alexius IV was away, a fight broke out between the Latin and Greek inhabitants. If you go to Istanbul, there must be a lot of historical sites. Is there like old temples and shit you can see as a tourist? There must be a lot of... Shit. Imagine you're the guy making that decision. What a legend you are, man. No way. I always think about these individual faiths. Imagine reacting that fast. What a legend you are, man. This was the last time the Crusaders argued over departing to the Holy Land as they discussed the situation. In the end, the murder and usurpation, broken promises, and 15,000 Latins who had fled their camp led to one clear decision. The Crusader forces would assault the city, and this time they would not do so to place some pretender on the throne, but to take it for themselves. Should have done it the first time. In March 1204, time. the leadership laid out plans on how to divide the Eastern Roman Empire among them, and how to evenly distribute the spoils. Once that was confirmed, they decided to focus all of their efforts on the sea walls. On the 9th of April, the assault began, as the walls were scaled at dozens of different points along the northern side. But a strong wind made it difficult for the ships to disembark, and many were left stranded between the Golden Horn and the sea walls. The defenders relentlessly shot volleys of arrows, bolts and rocks, and managed to repulse the attacks. Back in Galata, the defeated host made plans, and some suggested to readjust the strategy and strike from a different point. But the Venetians managed to convince them that there were no other options, arguing that if an attack was made further south on the walls, the currents would carry the fleet away. Instead, a decision was made to bind the galleys in pairs and build giant fighting platforms that would act as naval <coughs> siege towers. Meanwhile, Alexios V camped just outside the city in an effort to draw the Crusaders out which only depleted the already weakened garrison. On April 12th, the second assault commenced, and two of the largest ships in the fleet bound together embraced one of the towers. Elsewhere, a small contingent, armed with pickaxes, made way to the walls. The defenders tried everything to stop them, but the armor and shields blocked most of the projectiles, allowing for a small gap to be opened in the wall. Knights crawled through the gap, and held their ground against the waves of Greeks trying to stop them. At this point, the Varangians, who still weren't paid, decided to desert, leaving the queen... <laughs> you gotta pay the Vikings, bro. Queen of cities to this is when you lose the mercenaries when you have zero gold from Crusader Kings, man. Oops. Rather I mean, I get that, bro. Extent, I'll do the same. The Crusaders consolidated their position. Dandolo remained on the That's ships. CG. Count Baldwin took the scarlet tent that Alexius V abandoned, while his brother, Henry, took the Black and Eye Palace, and Boniface camped within the city. In anticipation of a midnight attack, the latter group started a fire within the city, which was carried further inward by the wind, and burned for nearly 24 hours. As his final attempt to rally the defenders failed, Alexius V fled to the west. When the fire burned out, there was no resistance left, no leadership, no Varangian guard, and no empire. I never knew this The stuff. leaders of the host never took of it. certain precautions to limit further devastation on the already battered city by setting up special points where all the loot was carried away and then divided equally, 
but many took to mindless plundering. Yeah, well, I would guess the basic soldiers they just raping. start going. How many priceless insane, works of they just art go stolen, melted down, or destroyed? They probably haven't and touched women the in months, the and they just go react fucking insane. To the man. collapse of the city and empire that stood its ground for 873 years. I never knew that Christians actually kind of fucked Constantinople up. I These never knew questions this. questions deserve to be covered in a separate video. So make sure you nice self cut, man. Jesus. The bell button Human history is just full of self cuts. Mamma mia. Comment. What are you still doing here, mate? Jeez. Well, if you want to see more, click these videos. Have fun. Looking good, boy.